of the great thrills that our guests on the Names the Same have is, is getting a, an autograph of their famous namesake. So I'm sure that after the show, Mr. Mitchell will be glad to give that to you, Tom. You can take it back to Brooklyn and be the pride of the block. You know, uh, I was a nice kid, wasn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed you were. You were very good, too. Go on over and meet our panel, pick up your checks. Thanks from Florence for playing the Names the Same. When they get the when when the panel gets the uh, guests that quickly, we're always accused of planting something, and that's the one thing we uh, we sort of like to do this show just for the fun of it, and we don't plant. We don't I was plant. a little flattered, you know. They me well, I yeah, I just imagine a couple you of good actors, and I thought it's, oh, it's, it's going to take a long time now. May I ask a question? I know that uh, uh, the very last thing you did on the New York legit stage, of course, was Hazel Flag. Were you co-author of Hazel Flag? No, I missed that. I was the only one who wasn't. Well, I was curious. <laughs> We're given a, a whole fact sheet on our guests each week. The people go to great, great trouble. No, ben, ben, Hicks wrote, ben Hicks wrote the script. Oh, it's not right. story, well, yeah. You were credited on one of the, uh, one of the, one of your bios as a co-author. No, 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 I was I just wondering. I was curious about that. Well, anyway, welcome to our show. You have a new picture coming out, I understand. Uh, yes. Well, let's give it a little plug, you know, a little mention here. Well, the last I heard of it was called The Treasure of the Incas, about those boys down in South America. Let me know? see if that's the title I have on my Treasure of the Islands, I have. There was no island. Well, they probably, you see, that you also co-authored Hazel Flag. I want you to know, according to this information. Well, anyway, welcome to The Name's the Same. And in just a moment or two, Mr. Mitchell, we're going to be playing a guessing game with you. I'm a non-attorney spokesperson. If you have taken a diet drug containing ephedrine, you could have unknowingly put your health at risk. Symptoms such as asthma, chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, swelling in feet or ankles, lightheadedness, and difficulty climbing stairs can be caused by ephedrine. If you suffer from any of these symptoms, call the number on your screen now for a free legal consultation. Some diet drugs have been linked to a serious medical condition known as primary pulmonary hypertension, or PPH. Even if you have not taken diet drugs for years, the illness may still be caused by past use of these drugs. If you or a loved one was diagnosed with PPH or have taken diet drugs and experienced any of these symptoms, call or log on today as you may be entitled to compensation. Don't wait. Call 1-800-706-4196. That's 1-800-706-4196. Four one nine six. A lot of fun with those, yeah. We have been talking about, uh, the, you know, best we got back to how quickly you had gotten uh, Mr. Mitchell. And what did you say about Barry Fitzgerald and yourself? You said that uh, you, when they mentioned voice, you thought of two creatures, Barry and Mitchell. Oh, I said, uh, that isn't a good answer because all Barry can do is crow and all I can do is grunt. <laughs> 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 all right, panel, let's go to work on Thomas Mitchell. Before the show, we asked Mr. Mitchell for a secret wish. And he told us that his wish was something he would like to do best of all. Well, panel, it's up to you to solve Thomas Mitchell's secret wish. Let's let our home audience see what it is Thomas Mitchell would like to do most. the happiest wishes we have had on this show since uh, we started wishing. Let's start with Arnold Stang, shall we? Arnold? You know, first of all, I'd like to say I don't think he talks funny at all. I think he talks all right. I can understand what he's saying and everything. There's nothing funny about the way he talks. I wasn't acting. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's your day off. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, uh, let me ask you this. Uh, is this something that I could do? Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, is it, uh, well, is it possible that I do this for a living? <laughs> it's possible, but I don't think for probable. No, no, I don't either. Well, is anybody else uh, involved in this? I mean, uh, does it involve anyone else? You mean in else? the wish Your itself? Wish. Yeah. No. It's just for you alone. Uh, uh, yes, I'd say that. I see. Uh, I pass. All right, best ten questions. Uh, Mr. Mitchell, does this have anything to do with show business? No. This thing that you would like to do doesn't involve your career. No, it does no. not involve show business. No. Mm -hmm. uh, would you be able to do this? Uh, would you be doing this in this country, in America? 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, would it help me to know where particularly in this country, or could no, you do it? No, it wouldn't, because you could do it, uh, uh, no, locale wouldn't have much to do with it. Mm -hmm. And this would make you very happy. Is it, um, would it have anything to do with sports? No. No. You have six questions, Bess. I pass. All right, Jean. First, though, I'd say I don't think he talks funny either. <laughs> I like the way he talks. And so do I. I don't like the way you talk. <laughs> I don't like the way you talk. <laughs> but I like, like the way you talk. Let's... <laughs> oh, we'll talk to each other. Uh, yeah, we'll talk well, to each other. <clears throat> Would this uh, involve any financial gain to you, Mr. Mitchell? No. <clears throat> no. Uh, does it have anything to do with your physical appearance? <laughs> no, no. I mean, uh, a change of your appearance. Could be, but no, that has nothing to do with it. Would you uh, review, uh, was a question asked, is, is someone else involved in this? The question has been asked. Yeah, is there I... anyone else involved in the wish? The answer was no. The answer is no. Yes, that strangely, that strange speaking man over oh, there asked the question. Oh, that sound from my right here. <laughs> uh, What's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gene, seven questions. Well, let's see. No money involved in this, and it doesn't involve uh, show business in any way, shape, or form. Uh, no. And no other persons involved. Uh, Maybe animals. <laughs> <laughs> would any would would humanity benefit from this at all in any way? Well, if you ask me personally, I'd say yes. Mm. Oh no, I would have to say no. I would have to. I don't. I don't. No, think, I'm. No. I'm being facetious. That uh, no. That you we, wouldn't. We want to be as helpful to them as we possibly yeah. can. Yeah. Well, that with that good clue, I'll pass. All right, John. Ten questions. Does it have anything to do with politics? No. Oh, you would not. I thought That's perhaps you'd like brother. to hold some high federal office or something. That's another Mitchell. I see. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um, uh, does it have anything to do with uh, love and romance? No. No? No. Oh, I'm no. disappointed. You uh, talk funny. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear that? I hope you did, because if you didn't, well, all right. Go on. Um, is it, uh, does it have anything to do with your physical, with changing you physically in any way, like in age or looks no. or anything? Such a change is not expressed in the wish. It's Let's not it expressed in no, the wish. No, no. Uh, is there, would you like to be somebody else? <laughs> that, uh, that's, that has nothing to do with the wish. The, oh, I see. No, no. Um, well, I pass. All right, uh, Arnold, seven questions. Well, uh, is, is it possible that part of the wish is that you'd like to be uh, a different age? Does age have anything to do with it? Nothing. No. No. Nothing, huh? Does it have anything to do with any kind of a musical instrument? No. No, it has nothing to do you with... You wouldn't want to change that. agents or something like that, do you? That uh, might be, but it has nothing to do with the wish. <laughs> well, you got me stuck, I can tell you that. I, I'm really stuck. Boy, I, I think I'll pass to Miss America. All right, Bess, six questions. Uh, let me see, Mr. Whatever Mitchell, that means. would this have anything to do with um, food in any way? Food? Yes. No. Eating? No. no. Uh, would it have anything to do with the traveling in this country? Would you have to go? No. no, I'm going like to restrict to go to... this question now to one more minute, Bess. Four questions. Well, have any ideas? All right, Jean. I'll pass. Six. Nine. I don't know what to say. Did you pass to Joan? I passed to Joan. Joni? What do you any good? I don't know anything. Well, let's call it. Any... Let's All right. Oh, wait a minute now. Go on, Joan. Does it have anything to do with being and wishing to be in a certain place? Nothing. No. All right, let's, uh, really nothing. Uh, <laughs> Thanks a lot. Oh, there was no As a matter wish. of fact, no. what is your wish? <laughs> My wish is definitely to do nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the wonderful. I think. Well, that would be a great loss sure to the American public. It certainly would. He did think... something to us. I can tell That's you that. Right. <laughs> I think if you continue that thought for a moment, you'll find that it applies a little bit to almost everybody. You say, yeah. could I stop? <laughs> yeah, but uh, we, we can't stop. I don't think it's in the nature no, of the beast. No, I don't think so. I guess he didn't want to change agents. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Mitchell, I can't tell. That's the best wish we've had in a long time. Thanks from Claw Rose for being with us on the Names of Change.